Here we are, 317.3. And it's still small, spawning small and medium sized ships in a big hangar. Run, 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 run. Alright, everybody. Well, as you could see the entire time just now, we are looking at the Drake Herald. Thank you for joining the party, landing gear. We are looking at the Drake Herald in Hangar 11. For whatever reason. Which means that big old box might show up. Oh. I don't think our ship's big enough to really worry about the box, so... This is a data runner. It's got all these, like, wonderful data storage units on the side. We've got a nice... Nice little uh, ballistic gun on the front for some real DPS. And then we got some backup size ones. Then we've got the uh, got four more of these over here. What is this? This looks like a panel that I should be able to. I don't have access to. <laughs> it's got some big old thrusters on it. You. So yeah, this thing. Auto move pretty quick with that. It's like a big old giant rocket. It's like nothing but a booster. A booster with a cockpit on it. And some data storage on the side. Eh, well. What is that? That seems kind of interesting too. Oh, okay. That's just the uh, retro thrusters. Kind of like that you can actually see that detail. There's the door, obviously. Let's go ahead and hop in. Enter ship. Don't kill me. Ah, just like everybody else's ships when you walk in, it's dark as hell. Okay, so we have this seat here, which is the support seat. I don't know what they plan on doing with that in the future, and I doubt that's implemented right now. We've got ourselves a bed. It looks like it's supposed to be a bunk bed, but there's only, you know, there's only the one bed. <laughs> oh, here we go. That is, uh, that is in dire need of some service. This toilet is, uh, very disappointing. Wow. <laughs> we got a couple, uh, it looks like gun racks right here. Pretty sure. And that button was on. Oh, that button exists? Doesn't exist. Exist? Doesn't exist. Cool. That's the ladder, that's the way in and out still. And storage. That, you know, you don't really need that right now because you can always just like... That's probably going to be the future access to the storage on this ship. Just to, just to keep you updated. But, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the Oracle and then after that we'll go... We'll fly it around for a little while. Give you a little a flying montage. Go from place to place. I'll do something similar to what I usually do for the exploration ships on this one. How about that? Let's go look at the Urkel. We have, well, a size 3 Veripuck with a size 2 Scorpion GT215 ballistic on it. And then two size 1 uh, laser repeaters that are on Veripucks. And that's all starting out. Then, we have no turrets. So this is definitely a ship for a single person, a crew size of one. There it is right there. Actually truthful this time it looks like. Has a Expedition uh, size one quantum drive in it. It's actually not bad speed. Yeah, sure. And it will get you, well, it looks like it'll pretty much get you wherever you need to go. Now we got eight task forces. Uh, they are electromagnetic, so you don't even need to change these out. Leave these alone. Those are probably going to be the best option you've got. At least with the current targeting systems in the game for missiles. Two size 1 shivers for the shields. 
shimmer that stealth. Why is the stealth grade called a shimmer? Hmm? Anyhow. And just like uh, many other ships out there, this is actually full of stealth grade stuff. Blech. The power plant is a stealth grade A. Because if it were anything less than a stealth grade A, it probably wouldn't be able to power its dick. And then we've got two self, one heat safe stealth grade C's on the coolers. Let's go over here and get this reload back up so we can see how much the damn thing costs. It is 1.181,100 AUEC found at New Deal in Lordville. It is a medium data ship. Transporter, if you will. So whenever we get data into the game, this will be a uh, very useful. It's already kind of useful as a little everyday flyer. It'll get you wherever you need to go. And there are definitely slower quantum drives. There are also faster ones. But anyhow, let's get back to it. Let's go fly. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead, hop in the seat here. Start her on up. Hark. The Herald Begins. Hey Drake lady. I see a red dot on the screen. Is there seriously someone outside that's like threatening? I don't like that. It's not very nice. I'm trying to do something here. I'm not trying to play with people right now. Where are you when I'm trying to do bounty hunting? Alright, so let's take a quick look at the MFDs that we have available to us. Alright, so we got... The two closest ones in our view are the right ones to have. We have our self target, or our, our self status here, and then we have our target status here. Below that we have... Looks like... Energy signature, maybe? Power signature? Oh yeah, this is where we can go to like Everclock and stuff, cool. And then we got weapons. And we have the power triangle. Where we can go also to Everclock and stuff. But also to shut things down. And communications. And then a 2D, a 2D radar. 2D radar is not the greatest, but it's not the worst in the world. Now it makes me wonder, are there any special buttons we can press? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now nope, that's the exterior. And that's the engine on and off. There's the power, just all in all. And get out of the seat. Looks like that is it. Well, the door is probably open by now, so let's go ahead and take off. Damn, look at those boosters go. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. I swear, it's just a couple thrusters with a cockpit attached to the front. This thing doesn't even, doesn't even need to be aerodynamic. Stare into the red light. Let it consume your soul. It will have you. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's get into this montage, all right?
All right, everybody. Well, before we go, let's go ahead and talk about something real quick. I've been checking my channel analytics, and I have a question. Why are only seven of you, or seven per, not seven, seven percent of you subscribed? If you've made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed yet, I think you should take a look at that and contemplate the status of that subscription button. Uh, subscribe. Do it. Or else, uh, when next time you get to play a video game, it's gonna end up having a corrupt sa uh, game save of like hundreds of hours. Just corrupted. And the reason why is because I'm gonna come over there, give it all of the drugs and alcohol that I have, and corrupt it and tell it to hang out with the wrong kids at school. So, avoid that. Subscribe. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Bye. Wait, do you think I wasn't gonna do something with this? Blast off! Oh no! Something's wrong! What will we ever do? The engine has failed! Okay, 11 years later. Are we ever gonna hit the ground? Don't you dare float. This is a really interesting fall. Bloop! Good night, guys.